Today we're reviewing four-year test. We're going over some very important questions. I think it's roughly 15 questions. There's 25 questions on your test tomorrow. So this is a really, really good review for what's coming up on your test tomorrow. And it should help you on your quiz corrections. All right, so two birds, one stone. Here we go. All right, we are playing trash get ball. Okay, so that means that if your team answers the question correctly, then you will get, actually, maybe we should make it, you only get a point if you make it. Now, you'll get a point, and then you get a bonus point if you make the trash in the basket. And we'll talk about more of that in just a second. All right, here is your first question. Hold on, it's freezing on me. Hold on, it's messing up. Oh, hold on. There we go. All right, I figured it out. All right, first question. Nope, I didn't figure it out. All right, what is the key word for translations? Here's a hint. It ain't translate. Come on. Okay, all right, we'll start with... The Lakers. Wow. All right, Miss Joy. It is slide. It is slide. Okay. So the key word for translations is to slide. All right. Slide or shift. Either one would be acceptable. Next question. What is the key word for reflections? Reflections, Jose? Mirror. It is mirror. Or I would accept flip. Mirror or flip. Okay, that's reflections. Very good. All right, uh, trash is in the bucket. All right, I think we're going to have to move this back. Now, get your toes behind the line. Toes behind the line, sir. Reflection. All right, what is the key word for rotations? What is the key word for rotations coming over, coming over here to the Lakers? Lucy. No, Josh Saver. It is turn. It is turn, okay? That would be an offensive rebound, if you will. Okay, good job. All right, Josh, come shoot. Come shoot. Okay, next question. What, when a figure is translated, that should say translated, translated, reflected, or rotated, the new figure is called what? No. You cannot use your notes. Okay. What is the new figure called? Cade. Tron. Nope. Oh. Oh. All right. Oh. Do we have an offensive rebound on the Hawks? Thomas? Translation. No. Anything else? No. Gavin. Transformation. Nope. All right. One more chance. Zoe. It is the image. It is the image. All right. Guys. Guys. Listen. Shh. No, I told you. All right, listen. Are you going to get it right tomorrow? Yes. Okay. The new figure, after it is translated or reflected or rotated, the new figure is called the image. All right, come on, Zoe. Okay. Next question. Give me a real life example of rotations. Give me a real life example of rotations. We really talked about three main examples. It doesn't necessarily have to be one of those three. Taylor? Okay, be more specific. Okay, the earth rotating around the sun. Okay, so we could say earth. Okay, um, orbiting, orbiting, that would be fine. What would be another example of a rotation? She got the question, but well, let's just talk about it. Rome, what's another one? No, no, a real life, real life, Josh. Okay, wheels on a car. Do you guys remember the Ferris wheel example? The Ferris wheel. Okay, so you're gonna have to give me, more than likely, a real life example of a rotation. Okay. All right, very good, Taylor. Come shoot. Come on, Taylor, you got it. You got this. Start the thing. All right. 
Okay, what are the three angles of rotation? Angles. Angles of rotations. I need new volunteers. Okay, we are over here to Isaac. 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270. Yes, 90, 180, and 270. All right, come shoot, buddy. Come shoot. Good. All right, come shoot. Let's go. All right, while he's shooting, listen, guys. While he's shooting, here's your next question. Hey, there's too much background noise. Isaac, shoot it very high. Okay. All right, your next question is on the screen. All right, Lakers still got one point. What are the two directions of rotations? Brayden. Yes, clockwise and counterclockwise. All right, come shoot, Brayden. Okay, clockwise and counterclockwise. Okay, next question. Now we're going to transform ordered pairs. Okay, I need you to translate this ordered pair five units right and three units down. Five units right and three units down. You guys just went, so it's over here. Gavin. I got it. Okay, five units right. Does that mean to add everybody? Tell me, does that mean to yeah. add or subtract? Uh, add five to your X value. Okay, what? Five units to the right, guys, means to add five to your X value. Translate, okay, that's my hint. So he said negative one, and then three units down means to do what to my Y value? Subtract three, what's four minus three? One. one, so that's how we got negative one, one. Okay, we had a lot of misses on the quiz on this. All right, translations. If I'm going right, I add, if I'm going left, I subtract. All right, go Gavin. Let's go Gavin, please make it. All right, okay, next question, number nine. Reflect the point negative three, four, across the y-axis. Reflect the point negative three, four across the y-axis. So remember, when we reflect across y, we do something. Colin. What is it? Yes, yeah, very good. Reflect across y, do the opposite of what, guys? Do the opposite of x reflect across or reflect the y-axis do the opposite of x so colin said instead of it being negative three it is positive three four and he's correct all right come on bud come shoot all right here we go rotate and i gave you the code you will have the codes on the test tomorrow Rotate negative two five 90 degrees clockwise about the origin. Okay, and then I also gave you the code. Okay, rotate negative two five 90 degrees clockwise about the origin. All right, Vivian, what'd you get? Five and two. She flipped the order and did the opposite of X. X was negative two and now it's positive two. Who got that right? Raise your hand if you got it right. Okay, if you got it wrong, do you see what you're doing wrong? Flip the order and do the opposite of X. It was negative two, now it's positive two. All right, come on, Vivian. Okay, all right, here is your next question. I need you to draw. Yes, you will draw on your test tomorrow. Oh. What would this image look like if it were to go through a vertical axis reflection? What's that? Okay. I know. I know. Well, I know what it is. just draw it. Draw it. Okay. Well, I'm going to show you. This is similar to your quiz question. I can't say it too loud. Okay. <laughs> All right, Karen, put your desk down. You're going to hurt somebody. 
Okay. Oh my goodness. I can look at your desk. Goodness gracious. I got it. Oh my word. All right. I'm going to come check. Okay, guys. While he comes up here, this is what it should have looked like. You ready? Okay. Something like this. All right. It should have looked like that. Uh, right a vertical axis reflection would have a vertical line of reflection so to draw the image it must also be facing the same direction all right so did you draw an arrow basically facing the other way all right that would be a vertical axis reflection all right number 12 a figure is located in quadrant one it is then reflected in the y-axis. In what quadrant is the image located? You can draw a little x, y thing if you need to. Okay, good. All right, I need some of your quieter teammates. Help your teammates out. All right, help your teammates out. Talila, you think you know this one? What'd you get? It is two, okay? So while she's coming up here, let me explain. All right, here's your X, Y axis. This is quadrant one. If it reflects the Y axis, it goes to quadrant two. Okay, number 13. Describe the translation between the two points. Describe the translation between the two points. I had a lot of misses on this question on the quiz because people were describing a reflection here. They weren't describing a translation. To describe a translation, please pay very close attention here. All right, Cade, I promise this one's four, yours. Right, five, down. Okay, so he said four to the right. Do you understand why? Okay. Yes. Because to get from four, negative four to zero, I have to move four units to the right, okay? Then to get from six down to one, I must go five units down, okay? That is how you describe a translation. All right, Cade. Oh, yeah. Cade, if you miss it, and work all this next question describe listen describe the rotation between the two points write the rotation down okay write the two ordered pairs down and i'll show you the codes okay i need you to write down the two ordered pairs okay negative three negative seven and seven negative three does everybody have your ordered pairs written down okay all right, I'm gonna put your codes up here. I've gotta switch over to my other slide real fast. Okay, all right, here's your codes. All right. Come up with your answers. I got it, I got it. I got it, I got it. It's 90. Which it's way? Like Hold on. It was, it was Wait, who just, um, Kay just went, so it's y'all's turn now. All right. All right, Joy, what do you think? I think it's hot. I think it's hot. Oh, hold on, hold on. I got to get to the next one. Okay, what is it? Uh, okay. No. Okay, it is counterclockwise 90. Guys, look here, all right? That just got a little confusing. Look here, pay attention. Hush, okay? The order flips. The X value, when it flips, stays the same. The Y value, when it flips, is now the opposite. So which one flips the order and does the opposite of Y? That is counterclockwise 90. Now let me ask you this. What clockwise measurement is the same thing? Clockwise 270. Either one of these would be correct. 
All right, yeah. either one of these would be correct. What, what do you All right, next oh. question. You're okay, you're okay. okay. Next question, you're fine. Describe the transformation, please be careful, okay? You need to tell me, first of all, listen, is it a translation, a reflection, or a rotation? You must tell me, first of all, what kind is it? Then secondly, if it is a translation, how many units, left or right, up or down? If it is a reflection, what axis? If it is a rotation, how many degrees? You have to have both to get full credit on your test tomorrow. Okay? All right, she said it is a translation. She is correct, but you have to be careful. It says from red to blue. From red to blue. So it's not going left, is it? You must pick corresponding points. Okay, so from red to blue, how many units? Can anybody do an offensive rebound here and help her out? All right, Noah? Okay, you're close. Double check your counting. All right. Hope, can you help her? Help him? Angeline? Literally, all you're doing is counting. All right. Yes, it's three down. All right, come shoot, Hope. Okay, so it is a translation, four units right and three units down. Four units right and three units down. You must say both tomorrow to get full credit. All right, here you go. You got it, Cecilia. Go. I believe in you. Okay. No, she's on the other team. But that's my dog. That's the home. All right, you have a review section tomorrow. Please, please listen. Shh. Okay, you have a review section tomorrow. I need to be very clear on this. You have four questions that are equations. I did not make them as hard as the last test. Okay, last test you had some tough equations to solve. You need to be reviewing your previous test and make sure you remember how to solve equations. I've given you an example of one that you would see on your test tomorrow. All right, I need you to solve this equation. 3x plus 4x plus 10 equals 31. All right, please solve this equation. All right, solve this equation. Good. Braden Harris, do you have the answer? Rome, got an answer yet? Uh, me? Yeah, you've been so quiet. You're not drawing, are you? Because I feel like you're like usually super fast and super sharp. You have not answered any questions yet. All right, Josh, what do you think? All right, so he got 7x plus 10 equals 31. All right, y'all tell me what's the next step? Minus 10 on both sides. 7x equals 21, and now we divide both sides by 7. All right, x equals 3. Great job, Josh. All right, come shoot a point for your team. Did you already shoot it for um, Yeah, I mean, we're kind of making our second round. I haven't shot. Okay. Guys, you see the next question. You see the next question. Oh. All right, good try. Good try. Okay, next question. This is our last question. Solve the equation for y. You have one question on your test tomorrow. So that means five total review questions on your test tomorrow. S solve the equation for y. So you do minus 4x on both sides. Yes. Okay, hold on. Let me, pa let me pause right there just for a sec. All right, you're solving for y. So that's the part that stays to the second step. So he minuses 4x to the other side. All right, y'all answer me this. Can you do 16 minus 4x? No, they're not like terms. All right, so Cade, what do you do? You do 8y equals negative 4x plus 16. Yep, and then what's my last step? Divide them all by 8. 
okay? Guys, you do not have a specific answer here. If nothing else, maybe you fast forward the video tonight to this problem so you can hear it again, okay? Y equals negative one half X plus two. This is very, very important to chapter four. I know that we're not to chapter four yet, but the, the more you understand this, the better you're gonna be at chapter four. This will be on every test from now until chapter four. Okay? What's so on now? we're on chapter two right now. Okay? Yeah, but we did the inequality. So technically we're on chapter three and then that one would be chapter five. Don't worry about it. Okay? It, we're going to cover it in about a month. Okay? Yes. Come shoot. All right. That's everything you need to know for your test tomorrow.